I've been reading Catcher in the Rye. Have you? Yeah. Well, brothers, mysterious brothers, are common in his work with this madness reoccurring, but as an almost saintly benediction. And with Holden and Phoebe and Catcher, it seemed he was writing about my life, about me and my brother. It, it really did. I mean, my brother was <coughs> young and troubled. Okay, mad. He had to be a seer, this Salinger. I, I believed, I, I still believe, that he could help me save my brother. Uh, I was desperate, awaiting his somewhat irregular fictional output, like someone awaiting divine instructions. <laughs> You know that movie, Beau Geste, huh? where, the, where those kids burn that little sailboat in the beginning? In the, where the toy corpse is in it. They, they, they light it on fire, they shove it out into the pond. And one of them plays taps on this little bugle? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then later when, the, when those three kids are men, they're, they're still friends and they're in the Foreign Legion. That's a great movie. Two of them are dead and the one guy, it's Gary Cooper. He's the only one alive when this big battle in the desert's over. You know, uh, both his friends are dead. And, and he lights the fort on fire. He, he gives them a Viking funeral because he loves them. He burns the fort. I mean, he burns his dead friends. I'd like to do that for you guys, you know? Somehow. Except we ain't dead, Dan. 